And we're recording. And we're recording. What up? Look, I remember my laptop. You did. And I don't have to look at the computer. No, we can, we're, we're always going to be looking off. So get used to that. Yeah. We're, but Andy's over there. And Chris is right over there. No, that's where I'm, I'm going to look at her so it's not weird since yeah. we're in the same room. Uh, what up? What up? I'm just trying to get my lighting right. Yeah. I'm a little shadowy. You know, you can open some of these blinds. I think that's going to help. I think it's more about me sitting. Should we get you? I've got an influencer ring light. No, I'm okay. This is good. <laughs> I'm okay. Right. No, because then you can always see the rings and their pupils, and it's like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Your eyes don't magically light up like that. <laughs> I don't get this thing to stop moving. There we go. There you go. Damn it. At least I did mine before we started. <laughs> Oh man! How's it going, brother? <laughs> Fucking, it's got it's about to get real musty. I have a feeling. Nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah. It's what do we usually do at this part? Normally, we're already talking. Mm. It's it's a little weirder this way. Um, but also, we can just edit in. We can just come in later. Well, you know. Than we normally do. This is fine. I think so. I think this is funny. <laughs> is it? I think if we have to say it's funny, it's probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have to say you're cool. I think it's hilarious, everything you're saying. Ha, 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 ha. And Auto just walking around back there with those little click clacks. I know. What's he doing? Looking at stuff. Yeah, we were going to pot at my place, and then I decided not to. Yeah, because you have to print stuff. I have to print stuff and here. Much like a grandma or someone way older than you, you don't have a printer. Why didn't Who I? Who has a printer? I have a printer. And yeah, a, you're like one of five people. Scanner. I'm, I'm like the pick. Having a printer now is like having a pickup truck. Excuse me, Jimmy FedEx. Like you have to. Fucking, I have a printer and a scanner. It's Gary Kinko. <laughs> I'm old school. I remember when you used to have to go there to print stuff. I guess you still do. I don't. I still do. Because I threw down $150 on a scanner printer fax. I need to use a printer once every five months. Well. May as well just use yours. Might as well. We get to see each other. Yeah. I use this, you know, it's more, I use the scanner more than anything now. Taking pictures of your butt. You're just scanning it. Yeah. It's, you know, pictures are so, like, anyone can do that. Where's the effort? Yeah. I want, I'm like, no, I sat on something. And didn't break it. And didn't, well, I hovered. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. You only have to break one before you realize I should have hovered. I shouldn't sit on the scanner. They are not for, they are not for adults. No. 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 Uh, but yeah, no, I use the scanner a lot because you have to like sign documents. I use DocuSign. Some people do, some people don't. Like some guy asked me for a W nine, which means I have to download one of those, and then you can fill it all out digitally on DocuSign. Yeah, but then he, they. I'm have, all green, Chris. You're all green. I'm all green. Says the girl driving the Jeep Patriot. Okay, Mister, I can afford a Tesla. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like doing a podcast with the Monopoly Man. Fucking just running around with his bags of cash. <laughs> just rubbing them in your face. No, I mean, there are other gas-powered cars in that price range that were must. That, I get it. You're being safe. You like to feel above. It. Everyone else. It's like a tank. Yeah. It's like a very And just emotionally tank. and morally, I feel above everyone. Oh, no. That, that remenate, remenates. Remenates? Re that's just not a word. It resonates. Very. Ruminates? Resonates. You can ruminate. And you can resonate. I don't think you can remonate. Remolade? Marmalade. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really? You like a marmalade? I don't. I don't know why I said that. I don't like good fruit. Some people are just saying it as marmalades. Oh, uh, don't do that. Uh, do people still send, uh, what are they, fruitcakes? I mean, probably. There's a, like Harry and David do that. They do like jams and jellies and stuff. Who's Harry and who's David? They're like a popular gift basket company. Oh, okay. Like Omaha Steaks. I just thought they were. But so for jellies and jams. I just thought they were a couple of your friends. 
Do you know what the difference is between jelly and jam? I can't jam this dick inside, or I can't <laughs> jelly this dick inside your ass. <laughs> Don't say my ass. <laughs> well, that's the joke. I yeah, I can't jelly a dick into an ass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fun when Marge tells that joke to strangers. You know, <laughs> guess we're gonna. I heard that joke on Bar Rescue. <laughs> One of the waitresses at Twin Peaks said that to someone. They left it in? Yeah. And they were just like, oh, no. <laughs> or I think it was Undercover Boss or something. Oh, that's like uh, on um, BDMs. This season where the girl brings out the, the dildo shot thing. Oh, yeah. That is a polarizing. That is like it worked really well with the half gay crowd. What was it? What's its name? Like Kevin or something? Or Steve. I think it was Steve. Yeah, you want to party with Steve? You want to party with Steve? And even the gay guy was, because there was just a gaggle of, like, pre-menopausal women that were out. And the- oh, yeah. And they were, like, filthy, dirty, making jokes to each other. And then when the penis, and it's like a pink plastic penis. It's not, like, lifelike. Yeah, but you're supposed to fill it with liquor. And take- and then you do a shot out of the yeah. end of it. And these women saw it, and they were like, this is too far. Well, it's like grow up. The best part was the gang guy was like, you know, I'm pretty good at reading rooms, and I don't think they're gonna dig this. <laughs> and, then, and Tasha was like, no, they're gonna totally dig it. I trust me. And he's like, I'm not. Yeah, she's bad at getting the vibe on everybody. Yeah, she didn't. Uh, they did. Did you see the reunion show? They put out a reunion show. I have not watched that yet. A, a resumeian, a zoomunion. It was via Zoom. Oh. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't come. Oh, she doesn't log in for that. She leaves a message for the whole for reunion. The whole reunion, she just leaves like, a, "Like, hi everybody. Sorry, I didn't." But basically, she just was like, "I don't want to relive some very dark times of my life where I was." She also got, I, I guess, she got lit up on the boards, on the message boards and stuff for being well, so fucking horrible. Yeah, she was not good to either either her ex, although. She seems to like dudes that are awful as well. Because, like, the du- the things these dudes were saying to her were also appalling. Yeah, very true. I mean, just because, you know. Look, this went perfectly over the little boop. <laughs> That's so fun. And you can't even see it on the camera. Anyway. Look at this. Is. Look at that. Boop. Look, Look at that. that. As if it was made. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that something? This video pod really adds something, doesn't it? Whole new element, Chris. I, I think next I'm going to get a uh, camera to actually just shoot. have a two shot. No, you don't need to do that. Well, I think this is weird. Or maybe just, I don't know. You don't think we need to do that? Yeah, well, you're going to edit those and you're going to realize we don't need this. <laughs> you're signing up for like a five-hour project. Yeah, I know. I but fucking Once a week, five hours? I don't. To be, no. We can barely find time for the one. I know. We moved this eight times. Yeah. Well, that's usually the MO. Yeah, that's funny. Because I, I remember I called mom and dad, and they go, uh, what'd you do today? And I was like, oh, well, uh, Andy moved the pod to tomorrow. And dad goes, shocker. He fucking, we were on the phone yesterday. I was like, I'm going to call Chris. I just didn't have much of a voice yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, uh... I think I'm going to push the pod to tomorrow just because, like, I'm tired. I don't have a voice. I'm like, I have all this shit I want to get done. And dad was like, whatever. Yeah, but also, listen, we have a lot of fun doing this, but it is very taxing on the mind and soul to just sit here for an hour and, like, be on. Be on and come up with stuff because we don't rehearse. Do you know how hard this bit was? (laughs) Ten days I worked on that. (laughs) I kept bringing drinks over here and seeing what cat fit on this little knob. <laughs> that, that what you were doing? Yeah. I thought you were just stealing my loose change. <laughs> oh. I mean, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Well, welcome back. <clears throat> welcome back. Sorry, this bubble water gets me burpy. Uh, it's One Million Podcast. I'm Chris Porter. I'm Andy Porter. We call her Burpee for short. <laughs> Uh, this is why uh, we are siblings. Yep. Uh, we are sitting catty corner from each other. Yeah, because my lighting's bad. He's over there. He's right there. And, uh, yeah, we're the, this is our pot. We're Scott and Carol's kids. 
We sure are. You are very demanding, Scott, especially about when and where we do this podcast. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, uh, to those of you out there that are a little upset with us due to the lack of uh, consistency, fucking sorry. Yeah, suck it. We got a lot of shit going. It's the holidays. We're busy. We're working women. Yeah, and we're uh, this is farm to table. No yeah. one's helping us out with this. Yeah. She edits the audio, and then she, and then I edit the video, which is easier. Which also, I can just edit the video and then just send you. Well, no, because you got to pull it off that. Anyway, uh, how was your weekend? Are you going to tell the people what happened to your face? Oh, with the nose? Yeah. Yeah, I lost a fight to a breathe right strip. Yeah. You got moisturized. I do. Well, I so apparently I snore. And uh, I've been sharing my bed with someone. and uh, so His name's Dave. His name's Dave. And but he gets all the free hot chicken he wants. He does. But, uh, man, are his fingers spicy. I... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was I saying? You share a bed with someone and you snore? I share a bed with someone and I snore. So, uh, to... Kind of remedy that. I got some breathe right strips, and the first stage, I was like, "Hey, they worked!" And then I was triumphantly taking it off, and I was a little aggressive. Not a good idea. And uh, I lost a little of the nose there. So, but it looks looks like I fought a little bit. A little bit. My bet. Well, our friend Aubrey. Happy birthday today, Aubrey. Happy birthday, Aubs. Um, she, one time we were on a trip and she put on two breathe right strips and she took them off the next morning and managed to give herself two black eyes. Did she put them on the same, on top of each other? Layered. Layered. Yeah. And they just fucking ripped the capillaries? Yeah. yeah. Well, I also think like through the course of the night, it just pulled yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. So it was like the slowest punch in the face. Uh, they are hit and miss. I, I love breathe right strips, but you really, you got to stay lubed up or else. Or else you lose a chunk Scab. of your nose. Yeah. You look like you work security at some weird Irish bar. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's what happened. That's what me. happened to his face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there. Huh. Uh, so how was your weekend? My weekend was great. What we did I do? Have, actually, the last couple weekends. Because did we do one last week? I don't think we did. Last weekend, I, w- I flew to Nashville. It wasn't super exciting. Oh, yeah. You had to go back and finish the show. I yeah, fly- so I flew back. I flew to Nashville last Saturday. I, I was there through the whole week. Which, what a shit day to fly somewhere. It kind of just fucks the whole weekend. And it was my cheapest option. Well, Otherwise, yeah. I was going to spend like an extra $300. For and I'm sure. like, I'll just take that Sunday. I went to the Opry Mills outlet mall. Oh, yes, where the is, Grand Ole Opry actually is now. It is, and it used to be a theme park called Opryland oh, that okay. they demolished to put in a luxury outlet mall. And the townspeople of Nashville were like, the fuck? Oh, they didn't like it? No, they did not like it. But them. also, if you maybe if they would have frequented Opryland more. Frequented. Frink, frequented? Frequented. Frequented. Lemon. <laughs> Roads. Uh, had they... Uh, yeah, had they gone more, maybe they wouldn't have closed down. You know, they don't just close down amusement parks because they're doing so well. Well, it's like it's owned by the same guy, I guess, Gaylord Opry. Wow. Land. You get named Gaylord, you probably want to take some vengeance out on the town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, you do. oh, you're having fun? Well, fuck you, because junior high. <laughs> yeah. Who's the British cigarette now, you dicks? <laughs> um, yeah, so... Went there and I took an Uber and I was so hungover because when I landed in Nashville, my friend who lives there convinced me to go out yeah. and I had been upgraded on my flight from Dallas to Nashville. So and you I came in hot. It. I came in hot. <laughs> she was like, come on out. And I was like, okay, fuck it. And I went out for an hour and I woke up feeling horrible the next morning. Did you have to shoot that first day? No. Oh, okay. No, but I, I was like, I'm going to use this day to go to this outlet mall and do some Christmas shopping. And so I got an Uber. And we, like, are getting off on the exit. And I'd been in the area many times pr- previously. And I'm like, the mall's right there. Why the hell is it still saying 12 minutes till I get to the destination? And I'm like, and I look closer to GPS. I'm like, oh, the traffic. Oh. And every, like, if every last parking spot was taken, you could see from, like, half a mile away. And oh, you're like, no. oh, no. It's like the Royals parade. Oh, God. It was terrible. So I had him drop me off at Rainforest Cafe. Had a couple cocktails. There you go. 
and then I braved uh, them all. Can we hold on? Pause. What kind of cocktails did you have at the Rainforest Cafe? Well, Chris, the two very old ladies sitting next to me were having a cocktail that was vodka and strawberry lemonade okay. with muddled strawberries in it. Okay. And what was the Rainforest name for it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, they didn't. This wasn't like a signature Tropical drink. Tropical Cheetos tornado yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't know. But I was there for three rainstorms. It was awesome. <laughs> Peruse the gift shop. And expensive. You can get a bag of rocks for nine ninety nine. Where are these rocks from? I have a picture. Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, they're like the kinds of rocks you see. You get at, you see at the zoo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold on, where is it? Like the ones that play music. Bag of rocks, nine ninety nine. Oh, so you you pick them? You can pick them. Bag of rocks, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, you get to pick your rocks and your bags. So I guess that's really what you're paying for. Oh, uh, is the selection, the customization of it. Yeah. You know, for all those rock collectors and your family. Well, don't forget. Where are you going? Ugh. Oh, yeah. Don't forget this. The original bag of rocks. <laughs> The sand in a glass sand in a glass bottle. Sand in a glass. Jar of sand. And he made this for me. Fucking. In like 1993, probably. 30 years ago. And uh, it's the first thing she ever gave me. And I'm pretty sure you made this as well. I did. And uh, God, there. I was so good at those. Lanyard bead things. And uh, I've had it ever since. You can tell. But look at its musty hair. Yeah. Ugh. Looks like it looks like you've been using it to dust for the last thirty years. Oh, it does not feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I've been dusting with it for thirty years. Feels like Dave's spicy fingers. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, did the outlet mall. Um I wore very poor choice of shoes. Yes, look at him dance. Um <laughs> Anyway, it was it was a wild experience. You wore, you wore a poor choice of shoes. How is that? Well, my tennis shoes that I had were still locked in my coworker's hotel room, and he had left. Oh, okay. For the day, and I didn't even realize he was back in town yet. So I just wore some flats that I had, and I walked like four miles in this Ooh. fucking mall. <laughs> it was a tough one. Man. But um, yeah. After that, went back to my hotel, watched that Meet Me in the Bathroom documentary about the strokes and LCD sound system, which is so good. Oh, why is it about both of them? Were they close? It's about the New York music scene ah. from like 99 to then. And yes, they were they were all close. Oh, very nice. And uh, the yeah, yeah, yes. Did I say them? No. They were all No, no, good. no. You did not. <laughs> Ugh. That's woof. No, 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 no. Zibba, zibba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still my favorite Destiny's Child song. Yeah, it's a great one. Yeah. First one, right out the gate. Right out of the Just gate. Came That's out when there hot. was five of them. There no, were four. four. There were four. And then those two went away. One came back. Not one. I it was I... Kelly and Beyonce for sure. And, and then, then Michelle came in later. And Michelle came in later. I remember I saw you had that CD single in your minivan and I yeah, stole it. Yeah, it just kept disappearing. That, that in your black street. No diggity single as well. Yeah, although I think I got suckered into buying the whole CD with Black Street. I've been sense. talking about that on uh, on stage lately about how, you know. Just taking it straight back to Black Street. Just like those, but that early 2000s, late 90s, like buying a full CD was just such a crap shoot. Because yeah. normally it was like two good songs and the rest was not not just not great. It was fucking awful. <laughs> Luckily for me, my taste in music that time was like NSYNC, Britney, Christina, and they were making the hottest albums of all time. Yeah. yeah. No, so that ruled. I, me, I, I a... just like belonged to the basement with Roller Coaster Tycoon <laughs> and next Tina's Come On Over. Come on over. <laughs> making people fly off a roller coaster and die. <laughs> so sick. Oh, uh, yeah. I used to love... Uh... This Anything is... where you can build something and then other people play it was always great. Uh, there was a computer game back in the day called Stunts, and it was a race car game. 
And our big, what you would do is you'd build a hill, and then at the top of the hill, the road would turn. But then you'd put just a random ramp <laughs> just past the turn, and so you just jump. And as you got over the top, you'd be like, you motherfucker. And you're just like, yeah, you're going to have to start over. <laughs> Did you ever play? You never played The Sims? Uh, no, I played The Sims later on. I played it like on an iPad or something. I, I played the original Sim City. Yeah, I recall that. I would lock, I would be downstairs just playing The Sims, and you could lock people in rooms with no windows or doors and just watch them die. And then they would have a little tombstone there. It wasn't just me. You just put them in the hole? Yeah. For... <laughs> mm-hmm. And then they piss and shit themselves, and they can't stand a stank. <laughs> How, how old were you? 12, 13. Isn't it also what happened to the Tamagotchi? <laughs> I fucking hated that thing. You wanted it so much. I did. And then it was like, feed me, poop me, put wipe my ass. And yeah. I was like, ugh. It's like that kid you gave up. Not for me. Uh, <laughs> so Not my ministry. <laughs> how's the gas station going? You know what? I... Love my my hair looks great. Gas station has not been touched in a while because I bought the Bioshock trilogy. And how is that? I've never played any of the Bioshocks. It's good. It's a little spooky. Okay. Those is it like a single person shooter yes. kind of thing? Okay. Yes. Uh, it's called an FPS, Chris, a first person shooter. <laughs> that's what it's called. In the that uh, all, that's world. confusing because that could also be frames per second, also in the gaming world. So. Ugh. Well, it's been fun. I'm going to go get in the tub with the toaster. Don't use the smeg one. That's mine. <laughs> um, Speaking of which, uh, if you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift. I'm so, not. Okay. <laughs> I'm look, more looking at the people on the from the pod. We're allowed to ask for gifts. I mean, we can ask. They're not going to send them to us. I. Oh, but also, remember Jacob Todd's gave us that giant bottle of sour beer. We yeah. need to figure out a time when I can bring that to a party so other people can drink it. Yeah. Cool. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, Xtina playing Sims. Mm-hmm. Bioshock. Um, yes. Um, it's a little spooky. Mm-hmm. Um, I finished the first one last night. So it is as scary as Resident Evil. I think it's uh, no. I don't think that it's game a... will scare the living fucking shit. Like, it's a lot of like surprise, but it's it's the only it's the only game where I was like, God oh, damn it, okay, <laughs> okay. This one's not that bad. Like you can hear them coming, but sometimes they jump out at you. But the second one, it like made all the upgrades to the game that you wanted from the first one. Oh, good. And it like you start out with this huge drill hand. It rules. <laughs> Why do you have a drill hand? Is there a backstory? Is it like an Edward <laughs> scissor hands kind of situation? You want to collect this like <coughs> rare fluid called Adam A D A M, mm-hmm. and you can exchange that in for like more powers, okay, and stuff like that, and like upgrades. And uh, you have to harvest these little girls who are the ones who have all the atom, but they're protected by these things called big daddies. And there are these big, <laughs> your face, there are these big machine, like, it looks like a Jacques Cousteau suit, but like okay. evil. But pedophilic, I gotcha. <laughs> but he's like just the protector. Okay. And so you have to kill the big daddy, decide to rescue or harvest a little girl. I always harvest them to get yeah, more yeah, atom that way. Sure. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now you finish game you one. Fight Chris Hansen. Yeah. Okay. You finish game one in a big daddy suit, and that's how you start the second game. And that's uh, where you have a big drill hand. I don't. I'm not in. <laughs> I'm not in. It sounds way more sexual than it is. <laughs> You're like in an underwater world. It's crazy. Uh, so you gave me uh, the GTA trilogy for Switch. Thank you. How's that? For that. I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, right, because you bought yourself an Xbox. Well, there's also... You have been doing Treat Yourself 2022. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty great. Bought an extra printer, money bags. Got a bedroom printer. Yeah, I did. I was tired of walking out here to scan things. <laughs> to print my map quests. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I bought the new Xbox, uh, which was nice. Um... 
And then I bought a new guitar, a new old guitar, because I wanted one. And it was not, it was, it wasn't much more expensive than the Xbox. So, uh, you just burped. It's fine. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I got this. It's called a lawsuit talking meanie. Why is that called that? Uh, because they got sued because of this guitar, because they basically just ripped off Guild, which is another guitar maker. Mm -hmm. So uh, they also ripped off Martin on another guitar. But, uh, so this is one of the ones where they ripped off Guild. I played one at Zach's house. You know, it's so funny. It's printed, It's spelled out Take Mine, and that's what they did. Did you get my joke? I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah. It's uh, not spelled Take Mine. It's with an A. So it's Talk to uh, So Take a Mine. There you go. Take a Mine. Oh, I see where you're saying the A is. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, I found one on Reverb for like uh, 600 bucks. So, yeah. What's Reverb? Uh, it's a shop. It's like an online gear store that like uh, uh, like mom and pop stores use to sell stuff. Oh. So this actually came from some shop in Seattle. Huh. Yeah. And they shipped it to me and I thought it would come in a case and it did not. They just fucking... Raw dog the mail. They just stuffed the shit out of the box and uh, it made it. Well, so. that's lucky. Yeah. Thank goodness. So what's uh, that crack in the side? Shut up. Kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to try this drink? I thought we were waiting until stories. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just kind of meant like later. Uh, I don't think what you know how I am about trying. What's in it? I'm not telling you until we have it. Okay, so. Uh, that was so we so Saturday Sunday you got too drunk Monday. What did I no Saturday? What did I do? No, we're talking about that. We're still we, were, we got to Nashville. Oh yeah, I was hung over, went shopping, and blah blah blah, and then worked all week. Show wrapped. Um, Congrats. Thank you. It was a beast. And then I flew back to LA on Thursday. Um, took the LA exit. Which fucking I hate so much. Yeah. Not a good time. And then I got in a Tesla where my. For those of you who don't know, LA exit uh, is at LAX. Uh, you can't catch an Uber at the terminal. You have to hop on a shuttle and then go to a uh, satellite parking lot to catch an Uber. Yeah. And that shuttle was jam packed. They, I think they wait for them to get as packed as they can. Oh my God. It was so packed. Um. So yeah. And then also, like, I had two months of luggage stuff in a dog and what and uh once you get to the parking lot like you can't you can't even pre-call the car okay you can't even call the car until you like are in they're like are so strict about the service area where you can call your uber oh okay you have to like cross the threshold into the la exit parking lot yeah and answer questions three pretty much yeah and so, so how my... long did it take you total just for our, because we have a lot of Los Angeles listeners, from 15 minutes, 15 minutes from the time you got to the lot or from the time you got on the show? On the shuttle. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just like. Stressful. It's stressful. It's a lot of stuff to do. And then not being able to call a car until you get there. But what was annoying, like that wasn't even the worst part. I, I chose an Uber Comfort because I have my conversation preferences set to quiet. <laughs> I want it to be quiet. I don't want to talk. Yeah. We don't need to talk. But there's nothing I'm to giving talk about. you the out to not talk. Yeah. And this bitch did talked the whole fucking ride home. Not only did did she talk the entire ride home, she didn't help me put my bags in the car. Yep. She just sat in there, hit unlock, and I was like, yep, okay, this is not a good sign. For sure. And so, yeah, talked the entire 40 minute drive home. It's rough. Yeah, but luckily I could just ask her, like, I could just prod her to keep talking about herself. Yeah. Because she was like, she was like telling me about all these reality shows that she was on. And I was like, that's cool. Tell me more about that. And then she'd like take phone calls from her friends. She'd be like, where are you at? She was like, I'm almost there. I'm dropping this girl off. Just give me five minutes. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get out now? So this weekend, uh, so you got on Thursday, what did you do Friday? Friday, I went with Aubrey to a 
event for her talent manager, like a Christmas event. Oh, nice. And then uh, Saturday, I went to... Was that fun? Yeah, it, it is exactly what it sounded yeah, like yeah. it would be. A lot of people going, how'd you meet him? Oh, yeah, what's he done for you? Yeah, and then, like, other people talking about their star meters on IMDb, and I was like, this is what you guys talk about? Fuck. Fucking yeah. kill yourself. I, uh, I don't even know what that is. It's your IMDb rating, like how many times you're clicked on on IMDb. Oh. And I'm like, y'all are day players. Oh, fucking, they offer, that must be why they keep sending me notices that I owe them stars. Stop it. You don't, you don't owe them stars. I say I'm not famous, that's how unfamous I am, is that I owe, like I don't, I'm behind, the, I owe them stars, that's how I'm not famous. Uh, Comedy's hard. Yeah, it is. Hard, um, especially in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Saturday I went to Matt's girlfriend's holiday party. Okay. Where someone brought a bag of illegal fireworks as their white elephant gift, which I thought was genius. Hilarious. Yes. How do you know they're illegal? They just came loose? Yeah, they were just loose in a 7-Eleven bag. They're called, they're called flat cats. <laughs> no, you can't have fireworks in California. Oh, um, so you're... When I think illegal fireworks, I think like someone made them. <laughs> no, yeah, it was a pipe bomb. No, all fireworks are fucking illegal. Yeah, no, this That's is like, not like someone made a dry ice bomb or something. I used to know a guy that, I mean, I still know him, and I'm sure he still does. He just doesn't live here anymore. I knew a guy that made fireworks at home. They were like sparklers and shit like that. They were like stuff you bring it, and like it would be your his gift to your kid for their party. And uh, yeah, is it is it one of our uncles? No. Yeah. Okay. I made you a fountain. <laughs> I would stand back though. I would stand back. I don't. It's the first time. It's got a three foot fuse for a reason. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, yeah, and then, uh, well, Saturday you came over and watched KUMU. Yeah, watched that, and then I had to go to that party, which was really fun. Had a blast, and met all, some new people. And also the border war is not what it used to be, because Missouri sucks. Yeah, Missouri does suck. It's awesome. They do? It's Love to see it. Uh, and they're going to suck for a long time. Yeah. Because they're in the SEC. You stupid bitches. <laughs> Fucking... They, they were really dumb about it. Hey, let's go to a fucking conference where we'll never be relevant and we'll never recruit yeah, well. Yeah, and now your players look like they work the night shift at Quick Trip. Yeah, although KU now has a white guy that looks like he works at Hot Topic. Like, right it's now. It's okay. We love Hot Topic. Did you know he was the guy that, like, was in for, like, two plays? And we're like, who the fuck is this oh, guy? Oh, I was like, he's 33 years old. Yeah, and he yeah. was also wearing Pollard's number. Have you seen, oh, my God, I saw it on Twitter today. This football player is 12 years old. Oh my god, I hope this wasn't just like a fleeting thing that I, thing that I saw on Twitter and now I'll never see it again. I'm singing just to keep things moving along. I know. I saw this this morning and it was like, what? Yes, I found him. This kid, 12 years old, he's a running back. I wish I could find, like, just the straight-up picture. But look at this kid. Well, just share your screen. Oh. So everyone can see it. Oh. Hold on. How do I pause this? Okay. Share. Screen, post disabled participant sharing. Damn it. Hold on. More. Ba ba do beep boo to keep it moving along. Da da da. This kid, he has a mustache. Like <laughs> he looks, he's an old child. Hold on. <clears throat> Hurry up. I'm trying, I'm trying, I gotta figure out how to, I've never had to do this. Hold on. Go to preferences. Okay. Video. Or go to share screen. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Sure. And there should be a thing that says allow people to share the screen. Now try. There we go. 
chair. Look at this fucking kid. What? Look at this guy. Fucking that kid. If that that fifty eight year old is not twelve, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. He's already losing hair. Yeah. Dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Look at this kid. Half sleeve tattoo. Twelve year old. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> but man. Yo, I got this birth certificate maker. I say I'm twelve now. I'm gonna rule the NFL. There's a use for a printer. Fake documents. Who says, Genius. Who says I'm not? Uh, yeah. And then yesterday I did. Tyler had a Botox party. I didn't get Botox because I just got it done. Yeah. In Nashville. But I stopped by. Said hi to everybody. And then went to Belinda's for cookie making, which turned it was thick. I I showed up late at one thirty, and Sandra still didn't get there till three. How do you end up that late? I don't. I've time never, is not a I, thing for her. I've never understood the. We'll be there at one. Two hours later, you're like. You like in the eighties? They would have sent out a team <laughs> to look for you. Like that's some shit you can't do. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. And like I said before, she was like, "I want to be there at 11. Yeah. And oh, I, we. I went to Group One. On Saturday. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, so that being said, only three kinds of cookies were made, so I didn't take any. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I bought, uh, I went to Costco today and had the sea salt caramel thing. Oh, yeah. You're set. So I'm good. Uh, well, I was, uh, I did like a little run where I went from, uh, I did three nights in Indianapolis, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday drove up to Chicago. Fun. Got to perform downtown. The Windy Apple. The Windy Apple. And I'll tell you what. I hadn't been downtown in quite some time, and I fell back in love with Chicago. That town fucks. I haven't been in probably 25 years. Yeah. I I don't think I'd been downtown proper, other than like going to the park and seeing the bean and all that shit. I don't think I'd been downtown in quite some time, and I could have had more fun. It's a very clean downtown. It's pretty. Uh, I stayed right on Michigan Avenue on the south side. Of, south side. Of said Michigan Avenue. Uh, stayed at the the big ass Hilton. Is that what they call it? Uh, it's what they used to call it. It's what I call it. Isn't it called like the white something? No, it's called the Hilton Chicago now. Oh, it wasn't it called the white something? It was when I went with mom and dad. Might have been. But the funny thing was, it was right next to the Essex Hotel, which is the hotel that mom and I went had to stay at when we went there in junior high for my class trip, uh-huh. which is now by La Meridian, and I'm sure it's a very nice hotel. Yeah. However, at the time, it was owned by Gary No Ridian, and uh, he... Folks. Folks. Uh, anyway, it was very awful when mom and when mom and i stayed there it was scary and uh did you have to use like an actual key to get under the room uh i mean i'm sure we did i mean it was also 1993 so i'm sure that was the the way it was at most hotels we're here and uh Uh, but yeah, it was just kind of a weird moment where i like because i was outside smoking weed and i looked over i was like oh yeah, that's it. That's right <laughs> where we stayed. All, and now coming up on 30 fucking years ago, because I turned 44 uh, a couple weekends ago. What up? Uh, but no, Chicago was amazing. Walked into the Billy Goat, which is made famous uh, in the Saturday Night Live sketch, Chibuga, Chibuga, Chibuga. Palmer House. That's where I stayed. That's the Hilton I stayed at with mom and dad. Oh, okay. And- uh, yes. Pepsi, no Coke. But we walked, uh, we walked in, and uh, I immediately got recognized, which was a super cool moment. 
That's awesome. They were like, you're not by the staff, uh, but by someone. They were like, fucking Chris Porter. I was like, yeah. And they were like, and I was really, I was really needing people to show up to these shows. And they're like, we fucking love you. We see you wherever you're in Tempe. And I was like, what are you doing here? And they're like, oh, we're just here on vacation. I was like, I got a show tonight. They're like, we're on our way to the airport. I'm like, ah. <laughs> uh, but no, it was cool. Had some, had a cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. And uh, yeah, yeah, shop Michigan Avenue. Got a pair of Ugg boots. Ah, we love it. And uh, yeah, because I needed, I needed boots that for winter because I play in winter places uh, like Buffalo and just places. That you know those winter places, the Arctic. The Arctic. I do play Alaska sometimes. Greenland. I play Greenland. I I've been known to play the- Saskatchewan. The North Pole, I play yeah. there quite a bit. Yeah, I've actually performed in a place called North Pole. Uh, it's well. not the North Pole, and it's all dressed up like Christmas, and it's uh, uh, a very depressing, sad place. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so uh, anyway, the Adidas's were not holding up to the they needed the temps. I needed waterproof shoes, and the waterproof Adidas's looked like. Uh, just something an IT guy would wear. Mm. So uh, these kind of they don't. Other than the fact that they say "ug" have an "ug" embossed on them, they just look like boots. But yeah, they 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 look like great boots. They feel like I'm wearing a blanket. Yeah, they're nice. Well, that's why I wore them sockless through all of college. And boy, did those things stink. <laughs> <laughs> I wore them. I wore them to every class. Oh. Rain, snow, oh. everything. Yeah. Those things reek. I still have them. <laughs> like an old Asian market. <laughs> like one that had been left abandoned. <laughs> it's like someone put a dirty diaper in a vent. <laughs> Cursor, I think it's I think it's pilk time. I don't have milk. I have milk. Is this Perrier and milk? No, no, it's Pepsi and milk. No. Yes, we're trying it. No. Yes. Fucking gross. This is okay. Is this a challenge? No. I feel like you brought this up. Did we talk about this? Maybe. I don't. This already makes me. I have to work out later. Uh. Well, here let's. There's Andy. Can actually show her doing it. Anyway, this is well, almost ruined it. But this is uh, my lawsuit talk from Andy. Pretty red. Uh, anyway, Pepsi and milk. Fucking gross. So this is something people are doing on TikTok. It's called dirty soda. Weren't people eating Tide Pods on TikTok? No, that was just for funsies, Chris. Get real. Um, but the new ad, the new holiday Pepsi ad, is Lindsay Lohan drinking pilk. First off, I thought we had a pact not to do things that Lindsay Lohan did anymore. Well, sue me. Did we? Uh, I'm still mad that I saw that Christmas movie. Oh, yeah, we never talked about that. No, we, we never did. We both watched the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie. I had to watch it because a friend of mine was uh, hanging out, quote unquote, with a younger lady. And her and her friend wanted to watch the fucking Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie where Lindsay Lohan has um, amnesia, which I'm pretty sure is called uh, Lohamnesia Christmas. And I thought we were going to watch it and make fun of it. And uh, so I started making jokes like, hey, looks like one of the things she forgot is how to act because it's awful. And uh, they didn't find it funny. And so I left. <laughs> and uh, that looks terrible. Oh, come on. It's just like a think of it like a root beer, like a Pepsi float that, uh, that is melted. melted. Cheers. Why is mine worse than yours? Happy Pilka days. Look at mine compared to hers. It's actually pretty good. It's not good. It still tastes like Pepsi. It what I don't like is the chunks. <laughs> 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 he 
you don't taste the chunks, but you can <laughs> look at that. Separation. Fucking gross. Fucking the things we do for this goddamn podcast. Oi. What have we come to? I'm 44 years old. It's a fucking Tuesday afternoon, and I'm sitting here having pilks on the internet for strangers. You know, fucking. No. No. I love it. How are you? Fucking gross. (laughs) It tastes like someone poured milk in your Pepsi. Yeah, that's why you might tell me upset. Yeah. It's like a virgin Irish car bomb. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, well, well, guess what? Lindsay Lohan did another thing that's awful. Chris, what's your vote on Pilk? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Be gross. <laughs> Somebody Pilk me. <laughs> Make it thick. <laughs> I want to filk. Love to get pilked. Oh, fucking gross. What have we done? <laughs> Burping up like a weird gravy. Don't say gravy. Ugh. You felt it, didn't you? A little bit. Ugh. A little bit. Fucking don't try it. Don't. Do we have? Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh, he's not doing it. Do we have listener mail? Uh, we do have a few listener mails. Where are we? Forty-eight. Oh Jesus Christ! Well, anyway, thanks to everyone that came out to Chicago and Indianapolis. Had a great time. Uh, Chicago is an amazing town, and I hope to make it back. Uh, yes, listener mail. Do you guys see Chris's iPad? When you spot it, oh, say it. iPad. It was behind me. iPad, iPad. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Meal time. Uh, we got a, someone sent us just a story, and we might get to that. Uh, yeah, this, this, yeah. this one's from Josh. Friday. Josh. Ooh. Uh, somebody, Friday Late Show Indy. Hey, Chris, Andy. Well, sorry. Nope, that was wrong. Hey, Andy, Chris, and Otto. Chris, my wife and I saw you in the late show Friday, and it was just the break I needed. You were hilarious as always. I'm standing at the wall during your set. I hope you don't, hope you didn't even notice, but just in case, I had done about eight hours of driving that day. I have the ass of a moss covered two by four, and the chairs in the storage closet sucked. Uh, His, uh, I played the small room at the uh, Indianapolis Helium. Uh, it seems like 50 people, very intimate. Uh, stole the most of them out. Uh, but yeah, it was very tiny, but we did refer to it as the closet. Anyway, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention during the merch purchase was that my 10-year-old son said recently that he wished that he could get COVID so he could eat his vegetables without having to taste them. Your feature was also great. Uh, that was Jen Sturger. Uh, question for both of you. Any could Andy Could produce one of your specials that would have benefited benefit both of you in some way? Uh, you know, that's a that's different a kind of, pro- you don't really produce. They could. Yeah, yeah. she could she produce could like the back, back scenes, scenes and, and yeah, yeah, she could do it. I could do it. Yeah. I know how to make a story. Yeah. And there's only one of you. Uh, yeah. yeah, if there if was, there was you, know, you know, Andy's more than welcome to do anything she wants on my specials. Uh, Thanks. Except for nudity. What? Next time I'm going nude. <laughs> Streaking across your stage. Just do it behind me. Uh, uh, question for. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, I'm running through the aisles. You know, I'm stepping over people. Uh, if Andy and I did a good special together, it would benefit both of us uh, to answer your question. Uh, Otto, I hope you get a good. I hope you get a good boy and belly scratch on my behalf. Oh, good boy, good boy, darling. Yeah, I mean, it's happening. Bingo, Bubs from Josh. <coughs> oh, having, having one some more. 
<laughs> Bring him on camera. Classic auto. There he is. He's auto man. <laughs> what else? Uh, well, the pilk is separating. <laughs> it's so gross. Oh, that's in my stomach. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna feel unwell. Uh, you drank way too much of that. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Portheads, talent receivers, and double fucks? Chris Porter here to remind you to keep yourself all trimmed up down there this holiday season using the lawnmower from Manscaped.com. Go to Manscaped.com and enter in the promo code One Million Pod. You get 20% off your entire order and free shipping. Oh, man. Uh, Are you going first or am I going first? Go first. Um, uh-oh. Oh, no. Did you lose your stories? No, I didn't lose it, but it seems like it might have be stuck, it's stuck behind me. Well, but okay. So there's a woman in South Florida. Have you ever had There's Easy a Mac? bunch of women in South Florida. Yeah. Have you ever had Easy Mac? Oh, yeah. I lived on it for a little bit. Have you ever done the Velveeta shells and cheese one? Yeah. Same instructions. Called, oh, okay. Mine were different, but yeah, I get it. Uh, same instructions. Yeah. Three and a half minutes in the microwave. Yeah. You've got the little packet. For sure. You know. Oh, you... I have had those. I call them my sad meals. Yes, they are sad meals. They're well, like, they taste really good, and then you realize it's like 1,400 things, milligrams of sodium or something. It's so much. Uh, yeah, that, that talk about something that makes your stomach upset immediately. Yeah. Well, also, there's nothing more sad than being an adult and opening the cheese packet and spreading it <laughs> over your dinner. I know. I did have some of those when I was in Nashville. But you were in a hotel. I know. It, but it was sad. I was at home. <laughs> well, this woman, Amanda Ramirez... Uh, she got the Velveeta microwavable shells and cheese, and she wouldn't have bought it if she had known the truth about the microwave time. She is suing. She's uh, proposing a class action lawsuit where she is the lead plaintiff, uh, and she's it's filed in the U.S. District Court in Miami, and she's seeking more than five million in damages. Jesus. On behalf of Hoodwink customers. Uh, saying that it doesn't actually take three and a half minutes because it says ready in three and a half minutes on the thing. Ow. Yeah. I slept on my neck wrong and I just like pinched it. Um, it says ready in three and a half minutes, but that doesn't include the prep time of taking the plastic off the lid and putting in the cheese packet. So you're at 415? Not even. But yeah, she's still in. Let me tell you. She something. wants her. She wants her forty-five seconds back. If you're having Velveeta mac and cheese for dinner, you got forty-five seconds. You got forty-five minutes. You're not doing it. She sounds like a woman on the go. And get some fucking gogurt, you dumb bitch. Yeah. Oh, and there's the adding in the water as well. That's another step. So yeah, we're looking at forty-five seconds at max. She'll get fifty grand because they don't want to deal with it. That'd be so awesome. Because also it'll cost them 50 grand in lawyer fees. There's also another uh, person who's, well, they just let TGI Fridays off the hook in a class action lawsuit that claims that the TGI Fridays branded mozzarella stick snack is misleading because it does not have mozzarella inside. It's only cheddar. I mean, I don't know if that... You can't sue over that. It's false advertising. Also, the sun has moved, and that would explain. It's coming through, like, the little <laughs> holes in my blinds. So, that's what's happening. With the Rudolph situation. <laughs> Speaking of which, saw Violet Night 100% in. Oh, great. It was super funny, super. That's my kind of horror. I, I tried to convince Tyler to go see it last night because we were at the Grove, which, by the way, for the first time ever, I saw the snow at the Grove. Yeah. Which is just bubbles. Yeah. 
It's just small it, small pack, packets of bubbles. That then makes sense. It looks like snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Tyler was so mad they were in his hair. Uh, but, uh, so, there was a... Uh, uh, there was a... Uh, someone asked on Reddit. Oh, that was the grossest burp. <laughs> Real pilky, isn't it? Next time we're doing the sprite challenge and see who burps the loudest. That did, video. Did so you send me that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, but we'll share the video. We'll share the video. But oh, it's this yeah. girl, this this Australian or British girl doing the sprite challenge, and it's so funny. What are you doing? Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show it. Oh no, I uh, just made a note. So someone on Reddit uh, said, "What is something women? What is something us women do that baffles you?" And uh, here's what some people said. Yes. Uh, my wife likes to do this silent whisper thing where she doesn't want the kids to know what she's saying. She mouths words, but she exaggerates the movement of her mouth to the point where I don't know what the heck she's saying. <laughs> It always ends in frustration for both of us, but she keeps doing it. Uh, when, you, when she asks you what she should eat, I named five things, and she says she's not in the mood for any of it. Then why did you ask me in the first place? Uh, hold on. Oh, this is, this is one of my favorites. Decorative pillows. A bed for two people needs eight pillows. Why? The couch seats four, so it gets 12 pillows. Guests come over, move the pillows. Cleaning, move, straighten pillows, and fluff the pillows. Complain pillows aren't correct shape. Buy new pillows. Keep old pillows. Arrange pillows to hold them new. It's like a Dr. Seuss book of pillows. <laughs> that one was funny. That is funny. The rest of them are kind of like Jeff, Jeff Fox where they bits. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all like stuff, you know, pretty, I'm not saying it's like really hilarious stuff, but it's just. Oh, God, my pill book's so gross. <laughs> Look at this. So bad. It's like river sediment. <laughs> uh... Oh, man, I I don't. I think that there's a problem with decorative pillows. Sometimes it's fucking ridiculous. Like, I have too many pillows, but they're all functional. Like, yeah. I just don't want to get rid of them. Also, you know, people like different kinds of pillows, so I like to have them all around. Apparently, I have three decorative pillows on my bed. Oh, you go to Mark's house. It's... You, it's a real pillow city. It's fucking four four rows of pillows before you get to functional pillows. That's like twenty four pillows. So you can make a fort of pillows. That's uh, like twelve pillows. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, well, that was fun. That was fun. You're, it's the pill, isn't it? The pill. <laughs> it's fun getting you, isn't it? Just a little bit. You drank way too much of it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to see you at Pamba later? No, I'm going to Aubrey's birthday dinner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. That's, um... <sighs> this seems like a way a mom got her kid to drink milk. I think you're supposed to stir it. You have to. But also, what's going to stir it in your stomach other than the vomit? My acid. Fuck, it's so gross. Oh, uh, anyway. Uh, I'll be, uh, depending on when this comes out. Actually, you know what? I'm off. I'll be at Dallas, New Year's Eve, uh, or Fort Worth. I'm not even sure. That's how little I give a shit at this point. I've been on the road for too long. Uh, but then I'm taking half of January off, and then Buffalo, and then somewhere else. So we'll figure it out. Probably another dimension based by like the light on your face. Right. I need to get out of here before I just disappear. Uh, but yeah, you can find all my dates. Uh, well, as soon as I update them at chrisportercounter.com.
Uh, as always, you can find the pod at One Millionth Pod on Instagram, and you can find Andy at Andy Port on Instagram and at Andy Porter on Twitter. And you can find Chris at Instagram and Twitter at I am Chris Porter. And you can find the pod on Twitter at the number one and the words million pod. And as always, this has been the motherfucking one million podcast. I'm Chris Porter. I'm Andy Porter. Fuck you. Come on by. Wow, it's way better when we're in person. Yeah. I gotta I gotta barf.